Now at noon, a new coronavirus drive through testing site is now open in Fort Lauderdale. It's at Holiday Park, but if you want to get tested, you need to make an appointment. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live at the park with details on the other criteria you must meet to get a test. Brooke? Yeah, hey Maribel, you need an appointment and you need a car, but you can come here and get tested with or without coronavirus symptoms. The first coronavirus testing site in the city of Fort Lauderdale opened around 9 Thursday morning. This morning, within the first 30 minutes of opening, we were able to do 35 uh, of those appointments, getting them through. The drive through site at Holiday Park at Sunrise and Federal Highway is open for anyone 18 or older with or without coronavirus symptoms. Appointments are required, but you don't need a doctor referral. You know, this morning, we've seen people in and out in less than 15 minutes. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue said medical professionals at the new drive through site can test up to 400 people a day. Even with coronavirus testing set up, Holiday Park is newly reopened for things like walking, running, or biking. We're only using a very, very small uh, part of the park for our testing facility. Without having any of the long lines or anything like that, uh, we're able to get people in and out, and there's really no reason to, to seclude the rest of the park. Testing, testing, testing is, is the key to trying to curb the spread of this disease. On Wednesday, the mayor of Fort Lauderdale said if numbers here contribute to a downward trend, it will get his city closer to really opening back up. We need to know, we need to identify who has, uh, who has the virus within them and to be able to contain the, uh, the spread of the disease by identifying who has the disease. And this site has gotten a major response. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue told me they've received 3,000 calls since yesterday from people trying to get an appointment at this testing site. So if you call for an appointment right now, you might get a busy tone. Fire Rescue told, told me to let you guys know at home to keep calling. They said they are trying to fix that issue. We've posted the phone number and all of the information you need to know on our website, cbsmiami.com. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 News.